Hey everybody, welcome back. Last time we got the Tesla motor mounted and this time we're gonna go ahead and work on batteries. So we got the LG Chem batteries and I'm actually gonna be working on a lot of the cooling and just placement and structure that supports it. So let's get into it. All right, here are the LG Chem batteries, uh, the battery modules. And uh, so there's 16 cells in each module and Basically, they've got plugs on both ends uh, to measure each cell voltage, as well as there are uh, two thermistors uh, for this side, and then also two on this side that, that you can measure. And so that's what they look like. They also have um, a one side that has kind of aluminum for cooling. And so I'm gonna be utilizing this side um, put some plates on there. I've got some uh, thermal paste or thermal grease that'll transfer the heat from the, the battery modules from the cells into some aluminum plates and I've got uh, coolant circulating through those plates. So we'll go ahead and get into how I am going to cool these. All right, so this was the plan. We'll see uh, how it works. I've just got some leftover tubing. I might want to get some different uh, tubing, but just kind of cut it. And so the thought is slide it like this and then this can go in here like so. So we'll see how that works. All right, this is the uh, rear cooling plate that I ordered, so we'll just open it. So I got uh, essentially two of these, so one will go like this. These are the cooling channels is where the coolant will flow. This is just mass relief. So um, I'll probably put a bead of uh, like silicone sealant or something, just make sure the all around the coolant track to make sure they don't have any leaks. All right, I, start, I started with this orange uh, rubber tube, thinking that might be good enough, um, but I got this black one now. It's got a much bigger wall. All right, I uh, put a section of tubing on um, all the way along there. And again, the thought is to have the batteries, the batteries rest on there, kind of in this slot here. So we'll give it a try and see how it goes. All right, I got this all prepped. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean one more time the inside uh, and put a bead of sealant kind of around the fluid track and screw it all together and that'll be good. All right, I think we got this ready. Um, so we'll go ahead and clean off the inside one more time and put a bead of sealant kind of around the fluid track and screw it all together. All right, all assembled. Um, still need to tap the uh, fittings to have the fluid come in and out of this plate, but I might need to drill and tap a few more. Just not quite sure how to secure it to the frame either. I also received the uh, cooling plates for the front uh, battery modules, so I will go ahead and start putting those in place. All right, so uh, the other thing I got so beyond these uh, cooling plates, I got some uh, 
thermal paste. And uh, basically I'm just gonna coat that in between the, the cooling plates and the battery so you get a good uh, thermal transfer. All right, so um, this one's got a little flow control on top so I can kind of meter how much uh, coolant goes through here. So when I, when I get it all uh, wired up with the front radiator and going back to the motor and everything, I can kind of dial in um, how much I want through the front battery pack, how much I'll do another one on the rear. Uh, so that way I can kind of control how much cooling is going on. All right, here is the uh, thermal grease. Um, it's got thermal con conductivity of 3.17. Um, also thermal resistance of less than 0.067. So it should give me pretty good contact between um, everything. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the uh, battery modules in between there and the plates and um, between these and the plates as well. So got enough in there that essentially when I tighten down the bolts, um, it squeezed out. So I think that's good. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, clean, clean that up and see how they fit. All right, well, I'm gonna have these uh, on the back half, but just thought I'd try and test fit them on the front half. So each one of these plates will go <coughs> essentially right here. And again, I'll put some thermal paste or uh, in between these two get a good uh, heat transfer. And then the coolant essentially will flow kind of from the radiator um, and then in and out of all these plates. And that will hopefully give the batteries enough cooling. All right, there's the grama that's gonna have the coolant line go through there and into all the coolant plates. So we'll go ahead and get things hooked up. I have the cooling plates in. Um, I got all the connectors reattached. I've got the coolant lines going. I, I got one more that'll go here to the top battery module, but that's kind of what it looks like. The top battery module's on now. Um, got all the wires routed down and around, back up. Um, got the uh, cooling plate down there, and that's where the cooling line, well, cooling line from the one battery comes up into here, and then the other one comes out here, and this will go back to the return. And, yeah, so, I will wait to join up the, the leads probably until I've got the back section done, but that's some pretty good progress. All right, so um, I cut and cleaned off these uh, secondary pieces here uh, for the battery 
box here in the rear. Uh, got those welded on. So I'll go ahead and do a one across the top on both, I believe, yeah, on the back. Well, I still gotta figure out if I'm doing just flat stock, if I'm doing angle stock across the top. Um, and again, still haven't figured out if I want this side to kinda go back or just if I'm gonna plan on unscrewing things and the panels and bringing them out. So gotta figure that out. Okay, so here's what I think I've decided to do. Um, I'm gonna make a top. So essentially something that can fit around all sides. Um, I, I think I'm still gonna plan to have this hinge open. So it'll be a little hinge close and I'll seat the top on, uh, maybe put a bolt or two through on the, on the sides to secure everything. Um, so I will go ahead and start making the top. All right, here they are all cleaned up. Um, I did try the, essentially the angle grinder over there, as well as the belt sander. Um, I tend to like the belt sander. I just feel like I'm able to maneuver the piece a little easier. Don't have to clamp it down. Anyway, still able to clean it up. So those are gonna be the two side rails um, for the top. So I just need to get the uh, cross members and then I'll weld them all together. So I cleaned up the steel. I cut uh, a 45 there on both. So I'm gonna, I've got this little clamp, uh, right angle clamp. I'm gonna try and uh, do some, just probably some spot welds, tack welds uh, for the entire frame, make sure it fits and then I'll weld it all up. I got uh, everything all welded here. Um, I'll go test fit it, but then I'm gonna put on some hinges, weld on some hinges here and here, and then also on the car. Okay, this guy's all welded on. We'll go uh, weld it to the frame. Okay, so I got the uh, hinges welded there and there. Um, so essentially this whole flap can come open. I'll take you around on top. All right, here it is on top. And so essentially this will allow access. I can pull this down. Um, the problem is I can't lift the battery straight up because one's gonna be here, I'll hit this side or the other one's gonna be here. So this one will allow me to, anyways, enough maneuverability that can come out this way. So it's open. All right, so there it is up. I don't know if I can do this one-handed or not. So then that, that's on. So then this can't come open anymore. So I just need to get some uh, paneling and then start loading the batteries and wiring them. All right, I just got one sheet of the plastic. I've actually got all the plastic for all six sides, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the rear cooling plate here and uh, drill some holes into this frame that I've created and at that point, I think I can paint. So I'll probably disassemble everything and kind of paint all the back half. All right, I got the uh, back panel on as well as the rear cooling plate. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I've got uh, some holes drilled into here that I'll drill through the rear plastic plate and also into the uh, frame there for the battery box and that'll allow me to mount it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill 
and we'll see how far we go. All right, so I've got the uh, cooling plate in. I've got the back plate or the back uh, part of the box there. Um, this is the battery, and it's essentially the uh, or the battery module. The back, I don't want to call it back or the front. Basically, I've got that hinge so it can come open, and this is essentially how you would unload the batteries. So you hinge it open, then they can come out this way. As you can see from the top, they got this crossbar here, so they can't come straight up, but. That's kind of what it looks like. Um, again, this is the kind of the cooling section and it'll get pressed up against the, the cooling plate there, like so. And then it's just kind of sitting down here. Can't really see that too well. But anyway, it's got these channels here and that's kind of what it's sitting on. So, there we have it. So this this back or this plate here will come forward and latch it all closed, keep it tight against the plate, and everything should get cooled. Okay, everybody, that does it for this week. Um, we were able to get the a lot of the cooling sorted out, so we hope that works. Um, the good thing is each of those uh, battery modules has several thermistors, so I can kind of monitor, and as you saw, I put some flow controls so I can kind of up or down the amount of coolant that goes in and out of those cooling plates and we will see how they work. So I hope you enjoyed. See you next week.